I just noticed and went ahead and installed these two remarkable apps. The UI, the new version for the UI, and this is version 1.2.0, released uh, today. And Advisor was released, I believe, yesterday to version 2.6, the day before yesterday, right? And I'm showing those two apps together because uh, they play along extremely well. I believe that this is like hunger and the desire to eat, that they go very well together. So let me see if I don't miss any of the features that I discover here. First of all, uh, as you know, you can see the priority from the Watson perspective here as one of the default columns. And, and this is different from the magnitude. The magnitude is internal data and curator based on the credibility you give to your log sources, the severity of the event and the relevance. Uh, that the, the high priority is, okay, advisor took that information and based on everything that it knows on the corpus of knowledge is say, this is, to me, this high priority equates to unlikely that this is a false positive. So you may, may want to investigate this further and process all the information that advisor will uh, have already bring to you. And there is a filter, and these filters are spectacular, by the way. It is much better than the old UI for sorting your offenses. In here, you can sort by those three categories based on the advice on investigation, right? So it's pretty cool. Another thing from the navigation standpoint is that, let me get the filters out of the way. By doing so, and you don't have to, but I get more real space. Once I have used my, my filters, then I, I get them out of the way. Uh, that you can put more information on the screen. So in here we have, uh, you know, we have these still 10 events in here, but you can actually modify this and put, you know, 25 or whatever, right? But regardless of how many elements you have on the screen, notice the density of the data. If I go here and say, you know, tall, you see that this varies, ma makes the, the rows uh, kind of bigger. So the every one of the screens is actually uh, more visible. And if you m make it short, but you get to fit more things on the same real space. A little navigation detail. So let's actually look, take a look at one of one offense in here that has already been investigated by the advisor. You know, this is a very nice you know, uh, timeline of the events. You have the offenses, the rules that contribute to the offense in here, how many events, zero flows in this particular case, the categories. If this would have been an external IP, you would see a different icon in here. Uh, it would be, uh, I believe it is a square, a yellow square. You get the relevance, you get the notes. Uh, you can put links here on the notes. It's actually very, very nice. Uh, notice the MITRE integration that you can provide feedback here or when you close the offense, we say that I'm not going to actually close it, but if I were to close this offense, notice that you can provide feedback in here. And, and an advisor learns about what you do and how you treat this thing, not only from your feedback, but also what is the resolution, the, the reason for resolution or how, what is the reason that you put when you close the, the thing. So it's just more in your face right now than, than it was before because advisor needs that feedback because it actually uses the, it uh, very much. Let's go into the graph and the graph of course is uh, if you come from the new UI it's going to be in dark mode if you come from the old UI it's going to be in clear mode so a couple of things that I want to mention and you probably have seen me demonstrating this particular use case in here Things that uh, want to highlight, well, you know, that uh, that you, you have hear me talking about the, the gray, which is the data in the offense, the blue, which is the stuff that advisor knows about it, that, that is not part of your offense, but these things are related with one or two degrees of separation, what I like to call the Facebook of the bad guys. And the green is after going back into Curator with all those IOCs in the offense and in the blue, let me see what I find based on, on, on your logs, your events, your reference sets, etc. And, and that's all that green stuff that is in there. 
this uh, icon in here, remember this is because in UBA this is a executive user. Notice that these offenses are related and this is actually a beautiful thing in an advisor. That it's hard to correlate offenses that are indexed by a different category. Well, the advisor can do that. And notice that these offenses are active. This has been inactive uh, already. Uh, what else? Well, remember that, and this is something that I don't show often, and I probably I should. Two things. One is that if you have asset data, then you will get to see your servers, your critical devices, etc. This, this, this stuff is not critical. The yellow is everything started from this IP. Uh, but you, you can have criticality of, 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 of servers that will be surrounded in a similar way like this one is. But again, you need to have data in your asset database that will come either from the flows or will come from scan data. Uh, so your vulnerability scanner data can feed the asset database and curator and an advisor can show you that better. And another thing that I don't show often and I definitely I should is you can click on these links. These links are clickable. Uh, when you click in here you actually see okay that's uh, let me see the events that are related to that particular link. Right? When you click in it you actually see that search. You don't need to I mean you, you can save the, the search if you want to and you can use it differently but what you want to see is this in here. Right? the net of, of why is it that, that that action that the guy did that connected those two points was all about. And while in here, let's not forget that you can always click on any event and see the details of it, even the payload. This is very nice. Okay? Everything is within easy reach and easy to see, more pleasant than the old UI. So remember that you can click on any one of the events. Let's say that you will have many events in here. If you right click in it, you can apply a filter. Say, well, take only the ones that have this IP or the ones that, that do not uh, right there. So I think that the new UI and, and, and an advisor advantages included, uh, well integrated into this UI, are winning me over. I still have a lot of muscle memory on the old UI, the way I look for things in in Curita, but the way that this portrays not only more pleasant the, the look and feel, but also the amount of information that is actually shown on every screen, I think this thing is uh, defeating my uh, muscle memory on the old UI and I'm becoming a convert uh, to this one.